Welcome to another exciting episode of Train Trackers. Yeah. We're here in Maryland at yeah. the B and O Railroad Museum. Looks like there's gonna be a lot of trains we haven't seen before here, buddy. Yep, and there's actually an engine that I'll talk about later that I've never saw before. Well, let's go, let's check things out. Look at this caboose. Looks like a barbecue caboose. They should change that O to a Q, right? No. That's pretty old right there. Not often you see a caboose, especially one that isn't moving. And this is connected, look, all the way down there. Should we go check out that B&O engine or no? Yeah. Let's do it. Goodyear. That's a chemical car right there. I've never saw any chem chemical cars that have Goodyear on them. I don't see any cars that have Goodyear on them. I think you're going to see a lot of cars today that you'll never see again because they're old. That's why it's a museum. These are the same initials for CSX for the other tanker cars that they usually have. Well, let's go down and get this engine because we have a lot of trains to cover today. Your mom's here. Emma's here. It's a family affair today, isn't it? Yeah. And a surprise. Blake didn't know we were bringing him here. Yeah. I, for a minute, I thought we were just exploring until we pulled in here and I was like, there's trains here. And here it is. Look at that. The big B and O engine. It looks like it still can run. I bet it can. If you take care of things, it doesn't matter how old they are, they will run. Nice. VNO. VNO. That's what your father has after working a long day. Baltimore and Ohio. Well, that's what that means. My VNO means body odor. Wow. Look at that. That's sharp. It's a GP-40. That's you excellent. You many of these because, like, sometimes CSX come by with these, but usually it's the big ones. This is just, like, a mini one. The big ones are, like, halfway through that car. Well, there's a bunch of trains and stuff over in that building there. And we have a whole lot of trains. So, um, passenger cars down there. Well, let's go. Let's go investigate this further. Looks like we're going in. Yeah, let's see what's inside. I am literally going to blow. Let's go. Look at this. Wow. Whoa! <laughs> Money! <laughs> Look at that, it's an old stagecoach. in heaven. That's an old school locomotive right there, Blake. Look at that. An 
all the moving parts in that thing. Boy, it's fun to actually see trains that we don't see every day. That is a weird looking signal. What does it say? 1930s. It says um, stop on red signal. So have to that one, what is that? That must be for the train itself, right? <laughs> I need that. Do you? I swear I need that. Oh, look at that. That was just red, not yellow. What do you think of that one? Hey, look at that old caboose up there. It's like made of wood. That's what the, the caboose looked like outside that we saw that was falling down. Let's go check out some of these engines. Yeah. That's the old steam engine right there. Looks like it. Yep, take a look. That's what they used to run. I think they used to run that on coal, didn't they, buddy? Bet they, those trains stunk, huh? They probably made a lot of smoke, didn't they? Let's go on the other side. Look at this one. There's too many trains to look at. Yeah. Wow. How about that one? Look at, hey buddy, look at this. That's bizarre. Like, just look at the shape of that engine. Can you believe it? So weird. Wow. Look, it's laying on the ground. Look at the old wheels. They look like a circus wheel. This could fall off the track easy the inside material. These do. Yeah, the, 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 they don't have that. The wheels don't even look like they're metal. This looks like that old engine that we have in town that somebody parked up by their house. Look at that. Which one? This one? Yeah. It's not in as good of a shape, but I keep thinking this dude's real. Hey, buddy. What are you up to? Oh, watch out, there's a line right there. You can't cross the line, Emma Lou. Line. There's a Pioneer, Blake. What's that, CVRR? Wonder what that means. Hey, what's CVRR mean, buddy? He's, he's speechless, he's speechless. It looks like a house on wheels. I mean, so is that is that metal or is that wood? That's wood. Some of the trains years ago were just made with wood. Oh yeah, that is cool. Cool. Sorry folks, you know, we don't really have all the information on these trains. But what is this thing, Blake? This is a old John Hancock. Oh yeah, you believe it? Remember, the couplers used to be like this, like right now they're like this, where you would pull the train up and they would couple like that and move. Yep. This is just like... Well, it says that the train is from 1858 to 1885, so we're talking old school, the oldest school we've ever been to. Let's see what these are. Yeah, look at that. They're different. 
I think the train on this other side's even older, buddy. Let's go see that thing up close. This thing ran on firewood, it looks like. No, nope. coal. Coal, well, maybe they used the wood to keep the coal burning or something. What, what do they have in the back? Barrels. Probably some whiskey. Huh. What is this thing? Is that a, a mini, mini caboose? Hey, it looks like a mini caboose, Blake. Yeah, it's a little like your own personal inside. caboose. Look at these. These look like they're really old, buddy. Then again, we're in a museum, so I'm assuming everything is old. Eighteen thirty two, Blake. That's how old this train is. This train right here is from eighteen thirty one. Look at that that's what engines used to look like, Blake. I'm glad I'm here now. <laughs> you mean you wouldn't be a train tracker back in eighteen thirties? Wonder if there were any train trackers. Probably not. Eighteen thirty, that engine is over there. So these were the horse powered. This was like the first railroad tracks, Blake. What they would do is they would put the train on the track, and then the horse would pull it. You believe that? It's crazy. What do we have over here? What would you do if you saw a train like that coming down? I would Tracks. Post it. I would post it <laughs> and I'll get money. Oh get yeah? Millions. Would you? Get millions of dollars. These all look like old cabooses. Like the ones we saw up at the uh, State Museum. So this is what this this train looks like. It's from 19, 1880s. Probably not. It's pretty old. Look how long it is. This is a passenger car. Wow. I, I could be here all day. I, I can too. I, I could just be here all day looking at these trains. Look at that. That is a big one. I'm surprised you're not jumping up and down like you normally do when you see a, a new engine. That's not good for exercise. Uh, hey, can you read? It says danger. Keep off, kid. Hell, my hands hurt. Yes. I mean, I, I've seen them on YouTube. So, do they make mark trains anymore? That kind of looks a little bit modern. They make them, just not like this. This one's an old, old. It probably still runs. It's in good condition. 7,100. 7, well, let's go over on the other side and see what we can find in the rail yard. What is this, buddy? A crane train? Yeah. Wow. Look at it. Pretty cool. That's like the old school working trains right there. Actually, we've seen some crane trains, but not like this. We've just seen the uh, maintenance cars there. Well, I think they're smaller crane versions. Whoa! 
These are refrigerator cars, Blake. We're inside one. Wow. I don't think I've seen too many refrigerator cars. Oh. Nice. I think what they used to do years ago, Blake, is they would put ice in. Look, it's kind of telling you up here on the screen what they would do. Fruit Growers Express is what we just looked at. Yeah, so that's what we're in. We're in a we're in a cryro trans train right now. So they, they, these trains aren't that old, but they they decided to use these uh, refrigerator cars, and and they did it without the ice, which is cool. We usually see these when we see a sex come by. All right, that was cool. This was the old refrigerator car right here. This is what an old refrigerator car looked like. Don't worry. Don't Whoa! They used to probably put ice and stuff in here. Whoa! Look at that! Some popular train names are Milo Ice, 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 it's a little dark in here, but this is what an old refrigerator car looked like, I believe. In a tanker car, this is what they would put. Yeah, of course. You can Gasoline, this, and for a flatbed, they would put cars, metal beams, railroad, wood. For this, for the box car, they would have anything like these. That's what they would put. And then here's a green card. They would put fertilizer, green, flowers, wood chips, stone, or coal in a hopper car. Cool. Oh, cool. Another train we can go inside. What is this? A dinner car? I think that's the exit, isn't it? Or no? Wow, a dinner car. This is what it looked like, I think. Is this what a dinner car looked like? And then this is all the stuff that they would use. Yeah. This is what they left this table here. Looks like grandma's table. Yeah. Looks like my grandmother's old table. Same, same blue weird dishes. And then it has, like this is probably Back here is where they cooked and did everything. Yeah. But they and got that the roped tables. off. All the tables were here. That's pretty cool. Look, at they even have a train, the 400. See, you you didn't know any of this stuff until we came here today. No, I didn't even know I was coming here. Neither did I. Looks like a repair shop or something. Let's go in. What the? Whoa! Praise old school. You know what, Blake? I think I like the older trains better. I kind of do. Whoa, look at this. One, three, two. Okay, I can't read that. Oh, size of that engine. These are all engines and stuff they would use to repair the trains, Blake. It's kind of what they would do. Look at the size of these trains. Chesapeake and Ohio. Look at this one. Jersey Central Line. Look, we even have an old car. Look, old car with railroad wheels. And that, there's an old crane car. A real stop. old. <laughs> what is this thing? Western Maryland. I don't think you're supposed to get in there, buddy. So, 
choo choo. All right, let's go. Now in the line. What the? Look, the old car is made of wood. Wow. It's a box car. This one. I guess it was used in the war, it said. I don't know. We don't have a lot of time, like I said, to really give you info about these trains. Hey, it looks like there's some stairs up there. Let's go. It's like a newer one. Why? There you are, buddy, inside. Wow. So they used to throw the coal in there. Look at look at the old train seat. And the controls, buddy. <laughs> this would be the injector. I would not learn how to do No, that. because, look, they're just like all gadgets. They are lettered and stuff, but, yeah, that's what a, the inside of an old locomotive looked like. Where's the horn? I don't know. Look, throttles up there. They definitely have everything labeled, so. This is me driving. All right, let's see. <laughs> you derailing? Ah! Oh, yeah. You'll put this back and pull it like that. Um, I'm sure it's pretty similar to how a train runs today. This would be brake, where you would um, pull it back and inject it. This would be reverse, so you pull that back. Yes, all right. Well, we don't have to go. Oh, Blake, look. What? what is that? Like, what is that? The where all the coal I bet it is. So they stored the coal in, coal in there, I guess, folks. All right, buddy. Well, nice. I've never been inside one of these. No, this is pretty awesome. I've like I said, we're going to have to come back at some point when we have more time and more knowledge. You would do this. What? You would do this to look out the window. Or this. Boy, that was a horrible attempt at a whistle, whistle. Oh, well, here's the whistle. Yeah, I wouldn't start messing with every, all the gadgets in there, kid. Definitely. It's like Christmas. All right, buddy, let's go. Before you put it in neutral and it rolls out the building. All right, back to the so, so this must be the coal car. That's what a coal car looked like, boy. Right here. That's what a coal car looked like. And then you had... This looks like another engine right in here, an old... Of course, that's the horn. This is the, the, the burner right here. See, and, like it, I said, and it had the coal stuff right over there again. Like I said in the other one, this, pull it back, it's in reverse. Excellent. All right, let's continue. All right. Maybe we have like two more trains. To... And then there's the CSX right by us. And look at the switch. Look at how tall it is. No info on that train. So we I couldn't tell you what year it was, but kind of looks old. Uh, Not as old as the rest of them. Let's put it that way. It's going to crash into that one. I know, it'd be nice to be in one of those once. If they would let you see the cat, oh my god. Looks like somebody just parked an old B&O train back here and left it. Yep. Nice. And then we have another old Chesapeake in Ohio. Mm -hmm. 
yeah i don't think we can walk in them or do anything but they kind of just left them out here so we could see what they looked like again we're train trackers we're not professional historians about trains we're like most people we we like to look at trains and talk about trains but sometimes you know we're a bunch of bs artists and we don't really know what we're talking about right yeah but it sounds good i do see another train over on the other one <laughs> look at that buddy it's an engine linked to another engine linked to another engine linked to another one those are old engines watch out for the old parts out here emma lou whoa Engines before. And look at somebody threw something at the glass and it's broken. Well, they're old, buddy, so I'm sure that they were probably sitting somewhere and then the museum went, picked them up. You know? Yeah. At least this walkway is smooth. Not bumpy. Oh, there's another one under older there. And then we have this weird looking thing. What is that? What is that? I'm asking you, the professional. It's like a engine. It's not an engine. What is it? It looks like some like... Something to lay track, maybe? It's definitely not an engine. It might be something else. Emma Lou, nice of you to enjoy the tour. That is a massive train crane right there. Uh -huh. What do you think? You think you could operate that? No. Me either. So listen, pal, we could be here all day, but unfortunately we can't be here all day. So that's going to do it for this special episode of Train Trackers broadcasting live from the B&O Railroad Museum in Baltimore, Maryland. Until next time. Don't lose track.